word from our sponsor. Advanced Elements is the leader in design and manufacturing of inflatable kayaks with cutting edge technology and providing excellent customer service. All of their products are designed to give paddlers the tools they need at a value they deserve. Check them out at advancedelements.com or call toll free at 866-262-9076. Hello and welcome to Paddling and Paddling Florida Adventures. I'm your host, Mr. D. Hey, today we're going to be able to play a little bit more with my custom T-42. I finally got my uh, FX turtleneck from David Brandua. He is the inventor of this, and I'll tell you what, you got to visit his channel. I will put a link in the description for both his items, his website, and to his YouTube channel. The guy is the bomb. Uh, he's actually from a neighboring town that I used to live in. He's in Murrieta, California, and I used to live in Temecula, California, before I retired and moved out here to Florida. But anyway, today we are going to install the FX Turtleneck BMX bars with quill. Now this particular bike requires the quill adapter right here and uh, all this stuff came in, uh, actually it came in early as far as the uh, FX uh, turtleneck and the BMX bars and mount and then this was shipped separately and I found it at my doorstep this morning so the plans to put this thing on today actually came to fruition. Yay me! So, anyway. so without further ado, guys, we are going to tear down uh, the giraffe stem on the G-Force T-42 and put on the FX turtleneck and uh, BMX bars and then transfer all these goodies over to that bike. So, hey, let's get this thing going. Now, to unlock this system is really cool. You take this le little lever here, pull it over like that, drop this. And bada bing, bada bong, it's opened up and you can see how it'll fold. And also, if you want to take the riser out, there's a little button right here. Just press that button in and they can come out so you can pull your bars out. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and install the turtleneck. All right, guys, we're going to get started here. One of the first things we want to do, and I'm not going to take all this stuff off yet. I'm going to do that after I have this removed. Then I'm going to transfer all the stuff over to the BMX bars. But basically, um, all you do is pop this down like you would normally to go to fold it. Okay. And take out that center screw right here. And pull. Now there is the quill. I'm using the quill adapter. So this part is off. I'm just set these down for now. And I'll be stripping them down and attaching the stuff later. Now the next thing I want to do is to go ahead and put in the, the quill. Get it on. So I'm going to take the quill adapter, and I think this is how this is done. I'm going to take the quill adapter and drop it in here. All right, guys, uh, we've got the quill in and tightened up all in, and we've got it all aligned, and it's really cinched down good. Now, what you want to do here is just check your alignment, make sure that your handlebars are going to be straight, and uh, you can always adjust that, and uh, these may be, uh, it's close, it's about right there, I think. Now, let me cinch that again. Okay, and now I'm going to cinch the side bolts. <coughs> They were tight, but not totally all the way tightened down. Well, they are now. So the turtleneck is all installed. Next thing you do is put the BMX head right here. I'm going to run that through. Get that all. Okay. And what I'm going to do it has this little button on the side here that allows you to take it all the way down. I'm going to temporarily cinch this up like that. And then what you do is you tighten this. Use a five uh, millimeter, yep, five millimeter hex head and light lock that down. Uh, these side bolts, you can uh, get your alignment correct. And again, I'm going to test this as I fold it down. 
and that's going to be perfect. Now, I'm not as fast as David because he's done this more than once, but I definitely want to have this thing all aligned properly and then get the head on and all that kind of stuff. So that's what I'm doing now is kind of just, it's going to be <laughs> different size. This goes back up to the six. And I want to cinch those. Then I'm going to center my fender and all that kind of stuff, make sure that's right. And then I'll be able to put the BMX bars on, guys. Let me bring this camera up for you. There we go. I did have a little problem with my coil, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. Apparently, in my bike, uh, the, the hole that's in there tapers a little bit. So I couldn't get the quill all the way down. And that caused me a lot of grief. So I took my uh, chop saw and shorten it up because if you look at the quill length on the G-Force, I mean, it's like only three inches. And then the one I got was like that big. Uh, so what I did is I shortened it up and uh, I shortened up the uh, quill that, that David supplied me with and it worked out really good. I'm all cinched up now. And now all I'm doing is tightening things down before I put the BMX bars on. And I'll leave it like that for now. Now it's BMX bar time. This should be really self-explanatory, so I'm gonna shut up and go ahead and get these installed. Jim. Man, this is gonna look so cool. Thank you, David, for thinking this thing out. Dude. This thing is going to be the bomb. I don't even know if the bomb is a good phrase anymore, but that's the one I'm using. I'm an OG, so it don't matter. All right, now I'm going to cinch these down and then line the bars. Then I got to transfer all the stuff that was on my G Force uh, mustache bars over to this thing. So I can get the And I'm staggering the tightness on this thing, which I think is a actual good idea. Now, looks like I got too much material here. I want to get my tape and one and a half, so I gotta move in that way. going anywhere and they're straight so that part's good hi right, guys uh, you can see the uh, the FX or uh, the FX turtleneck is installed and uh, all I got to do now is just transfer all the goodies from that handlebar over to the other one so hey we'll be back in a minute go for it. Right, guys this is gonna wrap up the installation of the uh, FX turtleneck from David brand new and again, I'll leave his link in the description so you can get yours, but it's really a, a really cool setup. I want you to watch this here. You take this little lever and just kind of push it over this way, unlike this. And down your bars are, just like that there. <clears throat> and that way your bars are all down. I got all my accoutrement on because you know I use a lot of cameras for my channel. But uh, I wanted to get this turtleneck ever since I saw the uh, invention we put in. And once the pre-orders were all filled, uh, David did his thing and got them out to his customers and did a great job. It's a nice design, uh, great invention. I wish him the best of luck on it. I'm looking forward to riding this, uh, but right now I've got to convert over all my uh, camera gear and stuff over to another mustache bar setup on the Vitalin U7. So the G-Force has got to sit for a little bit. I got to go play with the Vitalin V7 for now. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it was fun. I had a little bit of, little bit of a challenge, 
And that wasn't to do with uh, his invention or his uh, quill system. It was to do with the tapering inside of here uh, on my quill because it has a very, very short quill. So apparently they tapered down below the bottom on the forks. I don't understand. But all I had to do was to chop saw at the right angle on the supplied quill. And uh, you shouldn't have to do that, but I did. Uh, but it's all, all good now. I couldn't understand why it wouldn't go together. And that was just because the, uh, because of the G-force, it's got a real short quill. I mean, we're talking about three inches. And uh, I had to cut that quill down, and then it dropped right in there, no problem. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.